Hi, welcome to our house webinar today. So today's session is going to be on where to find your next client and some insider tips all around this topic. Um, my name is Olivia. I'm sure a lot of you have heard my voice before in these webinars or maybe we have met at some house events that we've done around Australia or around New Zealand. Uh, well, thank you for joining again if it is uh, your second or multiple time. Uh, and also welcome if this is your first session that you're joining. So what we are covering is all about where to find your next client, which is really cool and some new content uh, to share today. Like I said, my name is Olivia and I look after all of our partnerships here for Howls Australia and New Zealand. Um, and if you did want to know more about other events that I am doing or just our team are doing uh, in the area, so physical events as well, uh, always just go to howls.com.au slash events to see what is kind of coming up and what is potentially in your area. But today we are using GoToWebinar. Um, so you should see on the right hand side that you have a control panel. Just for some housekeeping, if at any time uh, you can't hear me, the slides aren't advancing or any issues like that, uh, please just look to the right hand side and there is a section called questions. There's also a section called chat. Uh, you could use either of those areas uh, to just drop me a question. Uh, if I don't get to your question just while I am speaking, um, don't worry because I will hang around at the end to answer those questions. Also, this session is being recorded. So I will be able to send you a copy of this so you always kind of have that in your back pocket uh, to refer to later. But let's dive into what we're doing. So today's objectives for this session I will just kind of reintroduce how, so you do have some context of who we are, what we do. Um, obviously, many of you are very familiar and have been on house for quite a long time. Then we'll kind of show how to cover all bases to connect with homeowners online. So these are your potential clients. And I will be giving eight insider tips to find the next client. So these are quite specific uh, tips that I'll go through. So the easiest way to get new business is through client referrals and recommendations. So just the traditional kind of word of mouth uh, tactics that people have been doing. But there are plenty of other opportunities to explore. So that's why we want to go through this session today to really make sure that you're aware of all of the available avenues. <clears throat> and this is a great guide to walk you through that. And I will show you some other resources at the end uh, to kind of continuously uh, or periodically refer back to as well. Also, you can just generate the right kind of leads for your company. So just to kind of as an intro, um, House is the world's largest online community for home design and renovation. So a fantastic community that basically engages homeowners and professionals and makes it a lot easier for you to make and keep connections to each other. So homeowners can come on here, search for inspiration, products, professionals, read stories, get advice. And for professionals like you, it's a fantastic community to put your work in front of. You can showcase your work, upload photos, include a lot of text, uh, get involved in our editorial opportunities, our community discussions, and really just get a lot of exposure in front of a really fantastic targeted audience. So just as our very first tip on how to really find your next client and where to find it, right here, basically at the click of a mouse, you already have this ready-made and highly engaged audience in the house community. So there's actually 40 million unique users that are on house uh, every single month. That's obviously a global stat. Just in Australia alone, there's 1.5 million local Aussies. And these are a really, really uh, targeted 
demographic and they really are a fantastic audience for you to put um, yourself in front of. Just showing here is a really fantastic um, example of a profile. So I'm sure you all have a profile in some uh, kind of format right now. So whatever degree or level it is at, I'm sure it exists. This is something to really aim for. This profile looks fantastic, ticks all the boxes. Uh, Cheryl actually has a video as well on her profile, as well as some fantastic projects, badges, association badges, uh, and a lot of detail about who she is and what she does, which is really fantastic. So straight away, if I have just landed on Cheryl's uh, profile here, you can see that it already is very, very engaging. And there are some really specific tips and tricks to help you boost up and really complete your profile, which uh, we are always happy to help you with. So we can always schedule a call with any one of our team to just give you some really specific tips for your profile. So the house community, like I said, has 40 million unique users coming on every single month. Our app won best app of the year at the Google Play Awards, uh, which is very exciting. It's like the kind of Oscars of the technology world, which is really cool. And there's a couple of other really cool stats here, like 15 million photos have been uploaded. So it is a very engaging platform to see that people, designers, professionals, are coming onto this community to upload their most recent projects, their most recent collections, to showcase those and really just put them in front of these uh, eyes that are looking for inspiration, but also for professionals to hire. So not only do we have this huge community, but we do know how the community moves around the platform. And I think this is just an interesting thing to note, just so you can see how these users on house, so these potential clients, definitely, how they move around the site. So most people, uh, and it doesn't come as much surprise, they land on house looking at photos and looking at inspiration. So that's where they start. They start by spending a lot of time in that photo section. So they're looking for projects, for colors they like, for style ideas that they like, uh, products and materials. And then they're seeing how those images, how that inspiration can really apply to them. So then we see them moving into that advice, that discussion forum, which I will talk about a little bit later, which is where they can get advice from professionals and homeowners alike, uh, share ideas, share design dilemmas, renovation disasters, and really just engage in that community. From there, our users then turn to hiring a professional. And what we see a lot of them do is they are going back to those photos that they saved. So any photo that they save into an idea book is not just capturing that photo, but it is also capturing that professional's details. So the link to your profile, link to your website, your phone number, uh, whatever details you've put on your profile is linked to every photo you upload. So they then look back at those photos, hire the professionals straight from there. Then we see a lot of users coming back to house. So during the actual renovation or build or redecoration of their house uh, to go back into that product section and really just see what kind of products and finishing touches can be applied to their home. So that is typically how people move around house. So it is important that if you're a professional on the site, you are kind of engaging in each of those different layers. So just as some demographics, because I have mentioned now a few times that uh, it is really a just really relevant audience as well as being such a large audience. <clears throat> so we can obviously see a lot of stats, data just from the site itself but we go even deeper into the community by doing these annual surveys and annual studies to find out what people are doing to their homes and what they're planning on doing to their homes as well. From that, we know that 90% of the people on house own their own home. 87% uh, are aged over 35. 
Um, and they earn twice the national average income in Australia as well. So this is a fantastic potential client because they own their own home, they're a little bit cashed up and they're a little bit more established in life as well. We know too that they're very active renovators. So just in the last 12 months, 57% of users renovated uh, and another 40 plus percent are also planning a renovation for the next coming 12 months. So that's a really fantastic kind of audience to put yourself in front of straight away. One way that you can specifically engage in that community is in the advice section, which you can see here. So this is one of the key layers to house. And really, our advice section is a very busy place where you can easily connect directly with potential clients. So think about it this way. Every time your profile pops up on the platform, you are introducing yourself uh, at basically a party <laughs> to a room full of homeowners who are very likely to be looking for the right professional to hire. So every time you drop a comment, uh, you vote in a poll, you like a discussion, you bookmark a discussion, that is really just putting your name out there and it's putting you and your business in front of this party or this um, audience of really engaged homeowners. So I would really um, encourage you to drop in here. You can start a discussion, you could start a poll, you could just post a before and after uh, photo of a project that you've worked on recently. That is enough to just engage in the community. And it is, um, Good to note as well that any comment you leave in this section is not just appearing here in this advice uh, page but it also appears on your profile so if anyone lands on your profile they straight away see the answers to the questions that you've um, commented on or any other comments or any discussions you've started they straight away get a little snippet of who you are and what you do And this is just a great example of one professional who really did just give quite an easy answer, about three lines to this question uh, that definitely showcased her expertise and her personality all just through one comment. So quite a like strategic thing to do as well, um, but just a very, very easy way to engage with potential clients. Our second tip is to connect with your neighborhood, so your local community. So really just tap into the market that is on your doorstep. So simple things like advertising in local magazines, newspapers, send out regular press releases, or sponsoring a local event such as a school fete, that can really just directly engage in the people that are in your area, or in the area that you want jobs in. So marketing like this involves some time and money. So you do want to think about it quite strategically, budget obviously, and really devise a plan. But this is a fantastic way, particularly with press releases, to just update the community on what it is you are doing and really what you can provide for them. Creating an online presence. So it is essential that your business has an online presence. It is really, really vital that it has a website. So if you do not have a website and if your website is not optimized for mobile, it kind of means you don't exist. <laughs> so online, it's very competitive, obviously, but offline as well. So like I said earlier, word of mouth recommendations uh, really did traditionally drive um, hiring decisions, but people are now always turning online to validate any word of mouth recommendation they receive to give that another stamp of approval, a third party validation before they do reach out and hire that professional. So do make sure that people can validate you online and that they can read relevant reviews, relevant recommendations, and just see some kind of presence online. So obviously a house profile is easy to uh, set up and do that, and we have spoken about that. 
But definitely, just as an initial touch point, you must have a website um, that is live and that is kept up to date as well. Make sure you are updating that with any uh, local or any just seasonal business offers, some very quality images of your work and easy to find contact details. You don't want people loving your work or loving your reviews, but they can't email you directly or they can't just call you directly as well. So most firms want their website to come up high on search pages and there is no magic formula for that, but offering users valuable uh, and informative content really does help. So I would encourage you to set up a blog on your website that is full of interesting and useful posts and potential clients will really appreciate this advice and this expertise. And it definitely does build up so much credibility and so much trust uh, even before they have picked up the phone um, and talked to you. We can also, on house, guarantee you local visibility. So we did speak about um, some other opportunities within your local neighbourhood, like press releases, newspapers, magazines, etc. We have a similar uh, visibility that we can guarantee for you locally on house. So if you do have a profile, um, which I'm sure you all do, <laughs> uh, you can become a part of our Pro Plus community. And this is when a homeowner in your proximity searches for a professional, your business will be highlighted as local. So these are the other features um, that are a part of the program, like enhanced directory placement, newsletter ads, access to analytics, additional mobile exposure, a local account manager to talk you through all these. So these are some really amazing features that we can offer you and custom build for you as a package. But just so you know, this kind of uh, advertising solution is a really hyper local. So this is pushing you and your work in front of not only our relevant audience that is using house, but directly in front of the users that are in your local area. So that is a fantastic way to really just guarantee you local exposure to these people who are definitely prospective clients um, and definitely looking for professionals exactly like you. Getting your work featured online and in magazines will definitely provide a lot of exposure. So really engaging um, in editorial and just showcasing your work in articles is such a fantastic way to get in front of new clients as well. So for example, our local team here in Sydney, they are always on the lookout for high quality projects that they can feature. Because I'm not sure if you have jumped into our stories section on house, but it is hugely popular. Uh, all these stories are written by our local team uh, here in Sydney and also by local professionals. And our team here are writing stories that really highlight features, showcases, everyone that is on house. So they only feature house professionals, house projects as well. So you can always get directly in touch with our editors. If you've just finished a home renovation you are very proud of, I would definitely invest in some professional photography Upload these images to your profile because it is highly likely that our team will come across these. You can also get in touch directly with our editor uh, and please let me know if you do want those contact details or just check out the editorial section on our site because not only can you submit a project or photos uh, but you can always put your hand up to actually contribute to an article so actually write for us as well, which again is just a huge amount of additional exposure to this audience. Uh, and then of course you can then share these amazing articles on your blog, on your website, uh, on your other social media channels as well. So know the social scene. So going on to tip number five. So social channels provide a fantastic way to market your business. 
but focus your energy wisely because I know that um, social media can be quite overwhelming, particularly if you're a small business and you're not really sure how, um, how many platforms you should be on, how much you should be updating, etc. Really just identify the social media platforms your target customers are most likely to look at. See what the conversion rates have been for um, your Instagram. So likes to clients or the amount of direct messages you got on Facebook in terms of uh, how many of those messages turned into clients or turned into just meetings. Um, so really do just be hyper aware of that online presence on your social media. So social media does work best when you have a large network. So it's a good idea to get a bigger publication or website to share your work for you. So one of our professionals um, in Perfect Interiors, so Beth uh, Dadswell from there, she has said that social media does help to show people what your work is like, but you need a huge following to generate leads. So it does really help when magazines and websites feature you on their social media pages as it gets many more hits. So again, actively reach out to perhaps it's our editorial team, local magazine or any other uh, local publication or design publication uh, that you see has a great social media following. Because if you get featured on there, then they are likely to share you and your work or tag you in a story, which can really enhance your profile. I've left a couple of um, insider tips just on the left-hand side there for social media. Some of the biggest tips are to keep it very visual. So if you have a blog on your website, that is where you can provide some fantastic written content. But on social platforms, it's really visual. So professional photography will always be the most popular. Uh, good lighting is really vital and definitely highlight some interesting features that stand out um, in any photos or any content that you do post on your social media platforms. We know from our research that photos that look more lived in are definitely the most popular. So if you're posting projects uh, on your Instagram or on Facebook, make them a little bit more lived in, uh, add some flowers perhaps, like on this right-hand side uh, photo, style them up a bit just to make it like, oh, I could live there. Because that's when a client or a user on social media will really connect to you. Good angles, uh, like no floor shot, shots, sorry, or very close up macro ones, uh, or bird's eye view, they tend to not be popular. Um, and definitely something that's a bit unusual, something that people haven't seen a lot of, or a little bit quirky, that's gonna get a lot of attention as well on um, your social platforms. So number six is all about trade shows and professional events or industry events. We really encourage you to just get out and about at shows to physically meet people uh, and meet other companies, meet like-minded designers and like-minded groups. Uh, so nothing beats meeting people face-to-face. -face. Uh, so I would definitely focus on homeowner events as well. So all of these um, bigger trade shows, say like Daycom Design, Denfair, et cetera, here in Australia, are fantastic for professional networking, showcasing products, seeing new products, and going to uh, various local talks. So definitely continue to visit those. But I would also pencil in getting out and about at the homeowner or consumer facing shows. So there are a lot of uh, trade shows in Australia that do focus on the consumers and on homeowners. And these are ideal clients. They are literally potential clients that are going out on a Saturday looking for professionals to hire and for inspiration for their home projects. So this is a fantastic place to meet people.
Number seven is linking up with other professionals. So you can build up your professional network by sharing a client base with complementary contractors. So for example, architects will often recommend builders they've worked with, interior designers tend to use joiners that they know and that they trust. So make the most of connections uh, on house and on other platforms as well by leaving each other reviews. That would definitely be um, an easy way to show that, hey, we work with each other often uh, and really work with each other well. Um, and also just showing that you can collaborate on these amazing projects together. So a couple of simple tips is to any uh, professional that you do collaborate with or work with regularly, make sure you are following them on their other social media platforms, uh, including House as well, obviously, you can definitely follow them and they follow you back. Leave some reviews for each other so people can see that you do work with each other uh, very well. And also, on the projects themselves, when you upload a project, make sure you do credit them. On the screen here, I've just added uh, an example of how you can find and add someone um, as a credit to your profile. This is a really fantastic thing to do because on how specifically when you do add another professional as a credit to your project, this project then not only appears on your profile, but also on that other professional's profile. So you share this project, you credit each other, and you're just expanding your network as well. And lastly, at number eight, join a professional body. So show off your credentials by joining a professional body such as uh, the Australian Institute of Architects, Building Designers Association of Australia. Uh, the example here is the BDA of Queensland as well. These organisations make it easy for homeowners to find a professional in a particular field. And if this professional uh, body has a profile on house like this one, you can see that not only do I see the association, but on that bottom left hand corner, I see all of its members listed too. So straight away as a member, you get this kind of double exposure, but you also get such a mark of credibility on your own profile. Because I can see here on Stuart's profile that he's a building designer, see his location, see what he offers, but also that he is part of the Building Designers Association and the Master Builders Association. So straight away, that's two uh, marks of credibility. I have a lot more trust in uh, this professional before I even call him. And he's got exposure not only from this profile, but from the other two association profiles as well. Your association can give you a lot more of additional benefits as well. So I'd encourage you to just have a chat to uh, the local rep of your um, local professional body as well, because they can always offer many other discounts, trade events, uh, and just additional benefits for you to really take advantage of. So I do have a good quote from um, another professional, Dominic Bagnardo, uh, who is an architect in Melbourne. And he has said of his professional body that it's like flying a plane with an experienced pilot rather than flying solo. So being part of an association provides you credibility, shows potential clients you conduct your business under strict codes of conduct, and they host frequent events, keeping you updated on industry-specific knowledge, legal items, and development while keeping you in contact with your peers. So really fantastic point to end on and I would really um, encourage you to look into your local body. So those are those eight key takeaways um, on just how to really engage in a potential new client and find a new audience for you. So of course you can always engage in the house community through our advice section, through your profile itself, uh, and through engaging in a premium profile uh, like Pro Plus to offer you guaranteed exposure. Also connect to your local neighborhood and community. Uh, make sure you are 
ticking the boxes across your social scene uh, and not kind of just creating a lot of uh, social profiles and then forgetting about them. Engage in editorial, if it's through us, through other magazines, local publications. Get out of the office and get to trade shows, not only professional ones, but also homeowner or consumer facing shows. Make sure you are crediting other professionals and really helping each other out by uh, sharing your networks. So follow each other's work, connect to each other's projects, credit each other, uh, and just really engage um, with like-minded pros. And join a professional body to really um, guarantee that you are part of a credible organization in your field. I mentioned at the start that we have a couple of additional resources for you. Uh, so just to show you where they are, we have so many other tips like these that I have just covered today, but also specific tips on some other topics uh, which you may be interested in. You could find these under the stories section and then tips for pros, you can see on the left hand side. This is where you'll be able to find a really fantastic, sorry, <laughs> a lot of fantastic content um, that breaks down a lot of the tips that I spoke about today. So if you want to dive into more social media marketing, you can see uh, that guide right there. Or if you want to look more into your website, we have another guide on that. Um, how to encourage your client to write a positive review. So a lot of content for you to take, um, just a lot of takeaways and just some best practice tips out of. For Hows specific tips, we also have uh, how to use Hows stories, which again, you can find in the editorial section. So these are really good if you wanna learn how to uh, just update your profile correctly, use Sketch, use our other tools. Um, you can see that all of these sit in one place. Uh, if you do still have questions, of course, uh, let me know now by just jumping in that question section. Uh, everyone does have my email, but I've left it on the screen here as well. Uh, you can always directly email me any questions, issues that you have at all. And I'm just going to launch this short poll on the screen. Uh, that just asks if you would like to learn more about branding on house, uh, you can just go on here, <clears throat> excuse me. So we always will offer you a, a free consultation for your profile that you should definitely tap into. So if you have been on house for a while, you don't really know what else to do in your profile, you have a couple of um, questions you want someone to uh, answer over the phone, do let us know we can always give you a call uh, to help you out with that. And if you did have specific questions on uh, Pro Plus or on editorial, also just say yes and I can pass you on to the best contact to help you out with those. So thank you so much for joining today. We do host a lot of other um, webinars and other events as well, which you can see on this page here, house.com.au slash events. That's where you'll find all of the online and physical events. So do keep up to date on them. So thank you so much for joining and hope to see you um, or hear from you soon. Thanks so much.